Is Brazil the next Japan? And I mean that in the nicest way. For the last month or so, I've been telling you that Japan strikes me as the global market that's best positioned to give you a profit uh, in the, the months after, assuming that it does, that the U.S. Congress settles the U.S. budget mess and the U.S. debt ceiling mess. Uh, and that's because the, Japanese, the price of Japanese stocks has been, is linked to the yen, uh, that we had a huge rally when the yen was going down because a, a cheaper yen inflates uh, revenue and earnings that Japanese companies selling abroad. Um, and the whole idea of stimulating the Japanese economy is to have a weaker yen to, to add to export sales. So a weaker yen was good for Japanese stocks in a rally that started in November. And then uh, a stronger um, yen in the whole you know, run up to this mess uh, because a lot of people decided that, hey, the yen was a good safe haven currency when the dollar was kind of iffy. That's led to a, a yen rally. The yen got stronger against the dollar. And that's really led to a pullback in the Japanese market. And I said, the reason you want to buy Japanese stocks going forward is that after this mess is over, the dollar will probably rally against the yen, probably. Uh, and that would mean that you're going to see a reversal of the sell-off, which was at worst about 45 to 5%, but more than in the U.S., uh, and that would give us a weaker yen, rising Japanese stock prices, yada, yada, yada. That was the, the argument for Japan. So I've sort of been looking for other countries around the world where the currency macro uh, works in the same way. And one of the ones I've noticed recently is Brazil, that the Brazilian real has been really, really strong. It's, it's up tremendously since August, largely on the basis that uh, the Banco Central do Brasil, the Brazilian central bank, has been raising interest rates to fight inflation there. They've been willing to sacrifice economic growth, and boy, have they sacrificed it. Economic growth in Brazil has been terrible. But they've been fighting inflation. That's led to a stronger real, uh, which is exactly what you put, and the effects of that are exactly what you think, that, that you know, earnings abroad, when they get translated back into, um, into real from weaker currencies, uh, have you know, a negative effect on that. What, what has recently happened is that it looks like, um, and this is recently as in, say, October uh, 11 through 14, it looks like the bank, uh, the central bank has decided that the real is strong enough, that uh, inflation uh, has been hit over the head enough, and they're not going to try to drive the real any higher. So you're now looking at a situation where if the dollar rallies after this mess, the real is likely to go down, uh, the central bank is likely to sit on its hands. Central bank in Brazil is likely to sit on its hands and let the currency fall. And that means that for uh, companies that are doing exports like uh, Vale uh, or uh, Gerdau, any company that has a lot of sales outside of, of, of Brazil, this is a good thing. Uh, the real is going to be cheaper. That means the currency translations will work better. Um, customers will find it easier to buy the products. Uh, and so what you've had uh, is a couple of days of really strong rallies. Let me look. So from uh, October 10th to 11th, um, the say a stock like Gaul, which is uh, one of the Brazilian airlines, went up about 4.5%. Uh, from the 11th through 14th, which is a weekend, so it's really only one trading session, went up 3.9%. Uh, so you're talking about an 8.2% jump uh, in this Brazilian stock traded as an ADR in New York on this potential currency reversal, on this reversal policy at the Brazilian Central Bank. Uh, so I would be looking at, at Brazilian Central Bank, uh, Brazilian stocks as one place to sort of get another uh, replay of Japan uh, on the currency and on growth. So you might want to look at the ADRs of, of Brazilian companies traded in New York, which are Gaul, the airline, uh, Gerdau, which trades as, uh, Gaul, Gaul trades as a symbol of GOL, Gerdau, which is a big Brazilian U.S. steelmaker, uh, trades in New York at GGB, and then Vale, the Brazilian uh, iron ore company, where you're not so much interested in uh, changes in the iron ore industry, again, but as in the currency uh, aspects of this, and it trades in New York as VALE. This is Jim Juback for Juback Asset Management.